Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200, but don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come, though you'll get no precise count. My lords? Fifty-three knights and another two hundred armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads five thousand, five to one against us. What think you of that? We are few, they are many. But we have our walls, low though they be. If we had archers, who knows? Oh, for a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria! We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. Gentlemen, I give you Jorvith. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit-coated stick can be a weapon. He burned down the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the northern realms? This is too much. Saskia, say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf! Treason runs in his veins! He's been fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard, for the Valley of the Flowers, in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls and elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Jorvath to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kadweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile. If only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. Jorvath stays. Bloody hell. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. I say I. Nay, you killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, Aye! Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! <laughs>